Hello, welcome to my uh, video about my topic for my philosophy paper, Is Violence Ever Justified? And the first thing I want to talk about is almost legalized violence, such as the sport of boxing. Now, one of my sources is this article written by Maurice W. Van Allen, uh, stating uh, their case for why boxing should be banned. Now, they give up some points, such as Muhammad Ali receiving Parkinson's syndrome, and other cases of boxers dying in the ring. Yet, I believe those instances are very misguided to the whole sport because there are so many different cases of certain boxers becoming very popular and receiving wealth they'd never be able to obtain from third world countries such as Panama and places like that. In fact, the current mayor of Ukraine, Vitaly Klitschko, is, was a former heavyweight boxing champion, so boxing is not just a violent sport uh, for the for modern day gladiators it produces many different people uh there are many fighters who have phds and they're very intelligent people but they just choose to fight like this another case where i feel that uh violence is justified is in terms of self-defense as there was a young woman back in 2012 who had just lost her husband to cancer unfortunately and she had a three-month-old son now this woman lived in the middle of nowhere she lived down in the plains of i believe oklahoma and on new year's eve uh two men tried to break into her house with a hunting knife and she called 911 as everyone does. She grabbed her, her shotgun and she asked the 911 operator if, if they come in the house, do I have the right to kill them? And the 911 operator told her that she had the right to defend herself and her baby by any means necessary. And when they broke in, she shot the intruder and his uh, friend ran away. And they, he was eventually caught. But this is a perfect example of people being able to defend themselves because this woman lived in the middle of nowhere and God forbid what would have happened if she had not been willing or knew how to fire a gun or protect herself because no one should have to feel afraid to defend themselves from uh, intruders in their own home. There's many laws like the Castle Doctrine that protects people from attacking uh, intruders in their home. It gives them the right to defend themselves. Another instance of justified violence I want to bring up is violence in the media. Now, video games are known for being violent, and there are some people that claim that there are statistics that show that violent video games increase violent crime. But the statistics on the board that I'm showing now prove that is false. That is false information. In fact, the number of violent crimes has decreased significantly as video games have become more violent and have actually gone up as video games get more popular. I bring this point up because, again, a lot of people use this to almost justify shootings and all types of other horrible atrocities in the media and the news. They, they turn towards the video games and the media when really these people were always mentally ill. And being someone that plays video games myself, it's very uh, unfortunate that a lot of that the people that can control themselves in these instances and not be violent with the video games are being singled out as monsters when uh, someone messes it up for the majority of people out there. So in closing, I do believe that this stance I have about justified violence is correct. I believe that we've legalized violence and made it sustainable and economic with sports like boxing and MMA. I also believe that people should have the right to defend themselves, and that requires violence because uh, there was a great qu quote from a professor, uh, Jordan Peterson, who I watch sometimes, that if you are incapable of violence, you're at the mercy of those that are that are capable of it. And no one should have to feel defenseless or worried that the law will, or that no one is going to come save them because they're incapable of defending themselves. And also the fact that as violent media has increased, violent crimes have gone down, it's obviously having a, a positive effect in a way because it's giving a lot of people an outlet to express themselves and be more open about it rather than caging it off. It allows people to release it in a positive way through video games and, and sports perhaps rather than taking out innocent people in a negative way that's going to affect society. So that is why I still hold the stance that there is justified violence in the world and that I encourage people to use their violent tendencies in a positive way. Thank you.